Because they went into that. There's like dust and hair and stuff in the crack. Huh? There you go. That's nice. Uh, that's it. Yeah. That's it, boy. <laughs> We're good to go. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the Safety Third Podcast. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. Here's the wait. Where did this mic come from? The ground. Are we? Did we? Who's gonna start the timer? Uh, look at that. Right. Okay. All right. So uh, some of you guys have been asking us. Uh, if, if we, why we aren't on the Jeffrey Epstein list. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think the number one answer is that we weren't invited yeah. to the plane yeah. or the island or I, we definitely well, would be if, which is like, <laughs> if they invited us. I mean, Stephen Hawking's on the list. Right. So it yeah. kind of makes it feel like he's a scientist. It would be cool to be on the list. We're Stephen scientists Hawking's too. I feel list. like we've missed out on something. <laughs> Okay, I'm put are we allowed to talk? Is this, does this, do these videos get completely demonetized when you talk about Jeffrey Epstein's Island? I think we're going to find out very shortly, right? <laughs> I'm excited that we can actually talk about things that like happened in the last like two weeks or so. Well, Stephen Hawking has been dead for longer than two weeks. So oh, yeah. So yeah. we immediately talk about something that happened a long time ago. <laughs> okay, what do you think Stephen Hawking was doing on Jeffrey Epstein's <laughs> Island? Uh, I, probably physics. Right, no, think, that's that's what the guy was known for. I'm afraid. I think have jokes, but I'm afraid. probably doing physics. What I mean, what did they what what did they have on the island? You know, <laughs> children <laughs> besides that. Oh well, he must have been teaching them about physics. Yeah. Did they have like mini golf or like uh, <laughs> a go kart track? <laughs> Jet skis. Can you say that? Is this, is this too much? <laughs> that the subject was biology, not physics. Um, no, I, th- I think that might that might be okay. Why am I looking for Alan? <laughs> Alan's permission. <laughs> well, I guess if if I think it's okay, then actually no, that doesn't mean no, much no, of anything. No. <laughs> no, not really. Uh, but yeah. Um, what do you think? So you're Stephen Hawking, and you get what's the premise? You get invited to an island. I guess because who is I like mean, nobody knows who Jeffrey Epstein yeah, that was sounds until pretty cool, right? Yeah. Like private jet to an island right. in like the Bahamas, the Virgin Islands, and you're right. like, no, I wouldn't call them Virgin Islands. <laughs> 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 Holy shit, this is bad. <laughs> that was that was a low hanging fruit. Well, <laughs> I mean, it's I feel like I feel like that would would be a really good opportunity for like you know have you ever seen like the the sponsorship emails where it's like some really shady company but they managed to like do a sponsorship oh yeah with, with like the like, rock uh, yeah, yeah yeah and so they're like look at who we worked with and uh-huh. it's like these a list celebrities and huge YouTubers like some crypto yeah. yeah and so it's like then they send you like essentially a spam email of like oh we like your channel would you like to work with us yeah. we worked we we paid Mark Wahlberg for a crypto no commercial yeah. that played in movie theaters. So I feel like if <laughs> if if Stephen Hawking is on the flight logs, and then you right. use that as an in, and then you get like Neil deGrasse Tyson right. and Bill right. Nye right. and like us, Bill um, Nye the pedo guy. I mean, Bill, Bill, I, Bill, Bill. I think that was probably the plan before um it uh the whole thing uh, before the guy died. <laughs> what? Okay, so when's the first time you ever heard about Epstein? <laughs> Uh, it was after, right? It yeah. was the allegation. For me, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like, if a guy named Epstein invited you to an island, how would you know any of that? <laughs> well, I think there probably is, because it's, like, billionaires, right? There's probably right. a small group. They probably all are in, like, a Discord yeah. together, all the billionaires, right? Yeah, and probably. So yeah. It's probably, like, like that they, they all do else, What else that. do you do? What, like, what do all billionaires do? We have everything else. Right. Yeah. I gotta, gotta have, like, share some kind of common hobby yeah. or interest. I feel like it's gotta be like He doesn't like have a go-kart do, track on his island. Just with more money. Stephen Hawking wasn't a billionaire, though. Oh, shit, you're right. Just, like, famous people. People with clout. People who, like, t- children. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like a black hole of comedy where it's like, it, the jokes always have to bend <laughs> that way. Like, it's inescapable. You cannot, it's like, like... the event horizon yeah. is Jeffrey Epstein. Like, that's where it always... It's like, like a kid <laughs> Once at, you cross that line, you know where it's gonna end up. It's like a kid on the bridgeway. It's like, once you're on the plane, you're past the event horizon and you're going to the <laughs> island. <laughs> the singularity. Well, uh, uh... Well, I think we should celebrate not being invited. Did we, did we welcome people to the podcast champagne. yet? Welcome to the very, 53rd podcast. Very special podcast. Today's very special ed- episode has no ads on it. <laughs> 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 so we bought this champagne at, uh... 
for Trader this Joe's. is also the New Year's episode. This is the you know, oh happy well, New Year it's the everyone. First episode we recorded in the New yeah. Year's. Yeah. Um. So it's this almond almond champagne almond flavored sparkling wine, and I'm sort almond of a sucker flavored. Yeah, Kevin. So like Kevin's also cyanide. a sucker for it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, cyanide uh, flavor. Uh, is there anything cool we could fling this at? Maybe one of the cameras. No, I'm just gonna do the light. All do right. the camera. All right, let's do it. Go three, two, one. Pop. This is gonna. Three, two, one. This is a spicy bike. And Pop. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, oh <laughs> drink it. Drink it. <laughs> I, I it just. Do like, we have the cups here? Sort of oh, here we got surprise. cups. There you go, Kevin. Wow. Oh God. Happy nice. New Year. I didn't even shake it. And I'm covered in champagne. Oh yeah. Did you, uh so for the people listening at home, next next New Year's, um, start the podcast uh so that we're saying three two one right when it's happening on TV. Oh shit. And I it'll become New Year's at the same time that we start uh the champagne pops. I was trying to decipher what I was saying. <laughs> well, of course you want the glass. <laughs> yeah, give me give me the sopping wet one. That's how I like my champagne glasses. Hmm. Mm. So it says almond flavor. I don't know what that means. I'm not actually sure how much you're supposed to put in there. I mean, I, I like it, but I don't Maybe think I'd call it bro. almond flavored. It tastes like champagne to me. Do you like I th- champagne? I think this it tastes like good champagne, champagne to me. Champagne's good. I don't really know what good champagne tastes like, but I, I like what yeah. this tastes like. Yes. I've only had bubbly, bubbly, <laughs> sparkling wine. You would oh, know. Yeah, not, from, not from the champagne region of Illinois. Here, cheers if to you, not being on Jeffrey Epstein's yeah, list. Yeah. If, if, you'd ever been on, if you were on his list, you'd know Maybe good champagne time. tastes like. <laughs> All right. And we're drinking right now if you can't see us. Mm. Mm. It doesn't taste anything really like almonds bubbles? at all. That's nice. It just tastes like rotten grapes. I like it. This is a, I, I, this is a solid champagne. Mm. I don't taste any almonds at all. Do we keep going down? It tastes bitter. You know what list? Do you think I, we could do it for an entire hour. Do you know what list you, you want to be on? Is the Panama that? Papers list? Yeah, the tax evasion. Yeah, you want to be on that not list. Not the, not that. Well, they're probably some of them are probably like a Venn diagram that's just one circle. It's probably very similar, <laughs> right? <laughs> do you think like don't we um like there was George lived in that house that was yeah. owned by Palmer Lucky Lucky yeah. Palmer? I always. Forget. Lucky Palmer. Lucky Palmer. Yeah. And that Palmer. guy basically became like a billionaire, right? Yeah, selling Oculus. Yeah. So, like, do you think he <laughs> is friends with, like... Jeffrey Epstein? Do, yeah. Like, do you think... Is it just, like, will you get that... Like, if you win the lottery, do you yeah. think you just kind of get accepted? Or do you think it's, like, I think, organic? I think that you just... It's probably got to be organic. Like, you know, it's like elementary school, right? Like how many just first being graders rich are friends doesn't with get you to Jeff Free Epstein's Island, but it helps. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Because I, th- I mean, I get like, like, like for I don't know for for YouTube. I feel like anyone who sort of like gets like starts making really good videos, really good content. Like if you if you sort of notice that, then you sort of like, oh yeah, like mm. I kind of recognize this person, and then sort of like if you bump into them, you like sort of. You end up talking to them like like an open right, sauce. Right. Oh shit! Yeah. Wait, did we? I, I I did a segue accidentally. Should we talk about, about open, open sauce? sauce? What happened to open sauce? Yeah. Wait, we don't want to talk about Jeffrey Epstein's island anymore. I mean, we could. Do you want to have open sauce at Jeffrey Epstein's <laughs> island next year or this year? I maybe? would honestly, dude. Whoa, that's wait, a good idea. It's got, it still exists. The I island would, still exists. Yeah, yeah. So like, there still is like There's, it's buildings. just an island. There's no yeah. kids on it. So like, <laughs> there must be a price to. Do events Yeah there. We're far too old To pay that price <laughs> I am so sorry And that's why That's why the, the Patreon Is so important To this podcast <laughs> Because of the Monetization issues That we had For, for whatever reason it, Could you imagine You buy an island You're like Yeah You've made it right Oh yeah Yeah And, and instead of getting A jet ski Or like a cool boat Go-kart track Go-kart track you do whatever the hell Paint they were doing. Giant paintball arena. Oh my god! Uh, I mean, it, it's kind of it makes sense in a way. Like, like y- you get you get yeah, to like have they're, they're, yeah they have they don't like, have to play by the rules and they yeah. start breaking all the rules. Yeah, and it's like the island is sort of like the perfect like physical manifestation yeah. of that, right? Because yeah. it's like you essentially have your it's more than owning your own land. It's like not like buy buying a house. Yeah, thing, kinda, yeah. 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 So you, you want to do that? I think like that? kings and stuff probably did really bad shit back in the day too. I here I guarantee it. Here's oh, the yeah. thing with with kings. Like this is something I think about sometimes. Which it's it's 
like a king back in the day. Wh- when when were there kings? Like a thousand years ago, five hundred years. I ago? like starting five hundred years ago and going back. Yeah, yeah. something they like would that. just like throw people off the, the balcony. You know, like yeah. a, a king I think in like torture like chambers. Yeah. Like anybody you didn't like, you could just like actually they could do yeah. whatever. You, you got that power like. back then, but like. A king compared to like a billionaire now, kind of the same thing. No way. Yeah. I think I think a bit because if you were a king and you own what like a hundred horses, a thousand horses, like like yeah. like if if you're a, a nobility and you have a horse or a couple, like you see what I mean? Like a, a a king is maybe like two orders of magnitude, sort of more wealthy than anyone below yeah. that king, right? Right. But then you have a billionaire, right? Compared to like whatever the equivalent of a peasant is and it's like literally like millions of times more yeah no i think everything's been compressed so much now that like like think of it like access to things i think that's what the king had like the king and like you know all of his friends they could like literally just like go from ireland over to like china they didn't really have to follow rules they either. could just like do that yeah you know like now hmm. like people can still travel but like back then peasants like they literally couldn't travel they like literally didn't have clean water right. or, or good food yeah. I, I mean there are times where like i will i will come home with like a costco rotisserie chicken and then maybe like a six pack of like a stout or and something like king. and it's I, I sit there and i'm like this feels this is like a, a king would ha- this is the experience a king yeah. would have had 500 years yeah. ago yeah like and but i get to watch tv while right. this is happening just like billionaires you get like more exclusive activities and like higher class activities or something i don't know it's exactly like, it's, just like, just it's like power like nobody wants to mess with you. like i was thinking about you know like, like yeah, i had kings, a thought of like have no rules if you had an insane amount of money yeah. and you wanted to do something you weren't allowed to do you could just do it like let's say you wanted to build a house in a place that you like wanted like you you wouldn't weren't allowed to mm-hmm. you can just do it mm-hmm. and then the city doesn't just come in or whoever is you know in charge of that jurisdiction like they don't just come in and tear your house down like they say you have to tear your, tear your house down and you say no i don't let's go to court over this <laughs> mm-hmm. can you see where this is going and yeah. then like in court they're like you have to tear it down they're like no i don't and then you just like you just keep that process going on forever yeah, and you get to live in your like you, crazy yeah, house for like 50 right. years and it's, then it's like it's on the the brink yeah. like it's in this limbo state but you pay to keep it in the limbo yeah. state and then it's like okay like i don't like this house anymore it's your problem now yeah. and you just like you know that's it right like that's the kind of thing that like money can get you you can like make problems go away by just bleeding insane amounts of money isn't that like the conspiracy theory or the real theory of of like by santa barbara ventura like isn't there like a lot of traffic there because there's always like construction yeah, projects I think happening trying to limit the amount of and you think that's traveling? actually yeah. so that there's just oh, fewer yeah. plebeians being able to no, pass I, I through think an so end. yeah i do think so that's because like that local <laughs> government is just, like santa barbara is uh a county just north of los angeles and it's got like oprah winfrey i think james cameron is up there it's like really 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 successful wealthy people and they have like it's actually it's insane like oprah winfrey has this house that's like you know i heard something the other day oh yeah she's got this house that's like it's it is bigger it looks like a city park, but it's not. It's like the biggest <laughs> area of grass in the entire city. So it's like you can see it. Like if you're flying overhead, yeah. it's like yeah. When I was, when it looks I was, like Central Park, but it's like yep. Oprah's house. Yep. Yeah. Okay. When I, it's wow. you can if you fly over Santa Barbara, you can see it. it's like just massive, sprawling green lawn. Really. And there was somebody that uh, was doing some work for I can't remember where I was talking to them. I think it was like just someone doing like just you know landscaping work. or something. Yeah, like, okay. Like they're having a bunch of work done there. And they're like, oh, yeah, if you see her, like, don't look at her. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I remember that. that? Uh, oh, my God. Somebody at, at your old job? Yeah, maybe. I think, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. so. Yeah, and they're like, they don't want you to look at her. Like, don't look at don't her. Don't make eye contact. Can you yeah. imagine having a client where you, you, you cannot like look at them no. like not even like eye contact not right. even like a like oh this this person's kind of weird kind of shy like right. they're not just don't look at this person yeah. you you cannot look at this person yeah. because they have so much money yeah. it's insane <laughs> like that's the kind of stuff you can you can kind of you just you like you fire somebody and you bring someone else in and like you just i don't know you're like a god like you just sort of but then i think you like it catches up to you right like you start doing stuff that you know like generally the government is like yeah, I don't really care how much money you have. You can't do that shit. <laughs> I guess, I guess it's 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 hard to even fathom sort of like the the lifestyle that is like available to yeah. you at that point. Yeah, like like I I remember like like it blew my mind even just sort of like coming to the realization that like 
people have personal assistants yeah. and that can like do errands for them. And I was like, wait, you can, you can just have someone like yeah. get groceries nice. and like yeah. dry clean. Like you can just have, some, but it's like a billionaire has like that, yeah. but like thousands of times, like, like it, a move. I mean, yeah. I, I was I was reading this on Reddit, right? So who knows like how true no, it's it is. Like true. the idea of like 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 when extremely wealthy people move, mm-hmm. it's not it's not an experience of moving like when you or yeah. I move. They're just like, like I would like to go here. You're like okay. A couple weeks later, you go to your new place and all your crap is yeah, there. Everything and you don't is think there. Yeah. They have people whose entire jobs are making sure that they're like, you know, household management, head of household. It's like an whatever. actual baby. Kind of. yeah. yeah. And so it's like the that person, they, they're they like, okay, they do well. Like all the interior decorating, yeah. like landscaping. It's they like you've got in. this house. It's fully furnished. I'm going to move. I'm going to go to New York. And as soon as they leave the house, an entire team of people then starts putting things away to send across the country so that it can show up and then be done that is finished to walk into that house. That's Maxwell to Epstein, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Right? Yep. She was like the doer. Is that? She is was that the guy. I think so. <laughs> she, she was the guy, you know? She did the moving. Wow. The I didn't. I did. <laughs> I never knew that. I didn't. I she's think. still alive, right? Should we look that up? I think she's, she's in jail. Let's double check that. She's in jail, but alive. I think Is that, that one. True? Yeah, that's how you know she wasn't the. No, really she was the one that like did the trafficking. Yeah, procured yeah. all the all the girls. Like oh, trafficking like stoplights and, and yeah, yeah, like logistics, and, right. civic, yeah. civic engineering. <laughs> she was really good at logistics. That was her only downfall. She conspired with Epstein to sentence to twenty minors. years in prison. Uh, does it say what, what kind of traffic control she did? Like airplanes or the one cars? The yellow light a little bit too fast. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff here. Wow. Is there any like summaries? This is what ChatGPT is good for, but I'm not sure we should try that. What's... <laughs> uh, mugshot. What? I thought, so Busted. that's, that's the, was, were they married? Or was she just? I think worked? they were married I, for a little bit. I never realized how little I knew about any of this until now. Yeah, and now, how do you think you know Stephen Hawking feels? He's like, I shouldn't have gone to the <laughs> island. I shouldn't have done that. I think I he was going to speak out again. Are we allowed to Wait, do do when Stephen did, Hawking voice? Is that when did this yeah. stuff come out? <laughs> when did Stephen Hawking die? He, a couple years, years ago. ago. Yeah. When did this come out? I think, oh, dude, that's actually funny. I, I don't know. Mm. Did he die before or he died 2020? He probably died right after it came out. <laughs> uh, okay, so I think Stephen Hawking died after, right? Yeah, I think so. Was it after? I think so. When did what Chad GPT? When did Stephen Hawking die? 2018? The year before. Wow, they killed Stephen Hawking. They did. Wow. They, did. they tried to hide it. <laughs> Because he he's had, like he's the only good guy there. He logged. Right? He has a whole spreadsheet. He logged everything. On yeah, his he's got like probably cameras and stuff. Yeah. He's like just looking, typing stuff in. They don't let you bring computers there, but he had to, otherwise he couldn't talk. And so he used it. He's wow. actually the hero. Do you think anyone has like a full collection of all of Stephen Hawking's just like text logs of everything he's said? Imagine like the nastiest things he's typed <laughs> in. Like, I mean, Stephen Hawking probably fucked. He probably dude, fucked. that dude definitely fucked. Yeah, yeah, that guy probably fucked. I think so they did this in, in Futurama. Did said they? some yeah. nasty <laughs> like, shit you know, that console. <laughs> it's like, oh, mm, yes. hello, yeah. yes, baby, baby, don't uh-huh. stop. So I think it was baby. out. Of- <laughs> <laughs> or is, maybe that sounds it's more just, like a Family Guy thing. <laughs> just pages and pages of him repeatedly saying Caillou hentai for some reason. <laughs> uh. <laughs> His uh. machine gets stuck, it breaks, and he can, he can only say Caillou hentai. Can you imagine not having to go through like the TSA security line every time you fly? Oh, like being able to do like a private jet yeah. or whatever. Did I, did we I think they still how much have money to like costs? technically do it. Uh, because I've flown if you have a on private like jet. private planes before. Yeah. Like I did the zero G thing, and that was like a private plane. But we still had to go through like a TSA screen. Wait, to get why? On the plane. I don't know. But it doesn't go anywhere, does it? It it goes up and down, you, right? I don't think you do. I think you you have to voluntarily go through like immigration stuff. But I think that the TSA is for anti terrorism. <laughs> so if you're on your own flight. In your own yeah, maybe it's like can't if, be if it's your own yeah. flight, maybe they they. Choose. But here's, I also think that if you if you are in the private jet class of people, 
yeah. that you are someone who is actually contributing a lot politically to keep these rules lax. For oh yeah. You. Like, I mean, I would do that. Like hundred percent. Yeah. Like, why would what you a pain not? in the ass? I would, I'm not going to sit through the TSA line if I can afford a private yeah. jet. I don't want them to find I can't. And so I do. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think that's just to clarify. <laughs> 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 that any of us want a private jet. I think it's always so funny to me whenever there's like someone on the internet that's like, Oh, well, if I was a billionaire, you know, I would, I would help people or do this or fight climate change or do that. And yeah, it's then like, you wouldn't be a billionaire. Exactly. Exactly. It's like, it's like, <laughs> like a billionaire has got to be such a like a malformed yeah. kind of a person yeah. Oh, yeah. to be able to have like to get there. Yeah. Like a billionaire would never like the, the very fact of someone even considering doing something like that disqualifies them like functionally yeah. from becoming a billionaire. Yeah. And so it's, it's like the same thing for like, I don't know, like what kind of a person just does not care about like taking a private jet to get to somewhere like no matter what i think if you gave your average person who talks like that a billion dollars <laughs> their mentality would do a complete 180 <laughs> <laughs> like, like eat I the rich can't. eat the rich oh wait oh, no. the oh rich wait not, bad. The not rich yeah bad. Not, not, not me please Blah. not me <laughs> <laughs> they'd be like actually uh <laughs> fuck all y'all <laughs> I was I was going through like old um old like notes that I have look like looking through notebooks to see like how many of them still had like pages that were usable. Yeah. And I I came across uh like a little a little budget spreadsheet I had made in 2014 I think. So it was 10 years ago. I was okay. I was 24 years old and <laughs> I had calculated that uh I had $3500. Yeah. That was all yeah. of my money and I I I, my budget broke down and I estimated that like I think I was I was did that between... include your stocks and retirement funds oh and... yeah you know the whole thing the whole kit uh-huh. yeah, my, all... my checking account zero plus zero uh-huh. plus zero plus zero <laughs> I calculated that I was like okay I can I if I don't get a job I can at least I have all my expenses paid for for four months <laughs> Thirty five hundred dollars four months covered me for four months wow. in two thousand and fourteen. That's crazy. And I, if if me then could look at me now, I would probably think that like I right now am like, oh my god, I'm super rich. Yeah, I have more than thirty five hundred dollars <laughs> in my bank account. And like me now, uh-huh. forty five hundred dollars <laughs> in his bank account. But me now, I'm like, I have no money. I I feel like I never yeah. have any money. Yeah. But then looking at that, I'm like, how did my rent was six hundred and fifty dollars a month because I had three roommates? Yeah. yeah. And this was in the the like the rent controlled house, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So you were kind of in an area. And and but even then, it was like it was like like I at that time just like would not have accepted that like oh if, if you make like eighty thousand dollars a year you're rich you yeah. must be a really yeah. rich person yeah and like me now it's like like you can't, it, you can't even buy a house it feels no. weird to like that it just doesn't like it doesn't get better <laughs> no not until you get past like dude i don't even no, know you see you know. see that's the trap yeah that's the trap that, and, and the thing is is like all this stuff is in a completely different realm than owning a private island <laughs> I know. I, so it's like, like, and then you, you, you and a school bus in the sky. Imagine then taking like that person with thirty five hundred dollars and then giving them one billion dollars. <laughs> Dude, they'd probably buy an island and pay someone to shuttle kids to it too. Well, it's always it's not like people just have a billion dollars, right? It's because they have like ten businesses they're running at the well, same time. It's not time. liquid. You don't understand. Yeah. yeah. Oh no. Well, I mean, no, I'm no, saying, no like, I'm, I'm actually the quite cash doing all that. <laughs> all the stress of that. Like you know, when you had thirty five hundred bucks, yeah. all you did was like work like probably one job. You know, you probably. It, it probably will, pretty like chill and then like i imagine being a billionaire is like kind of hectic and it kind of probably sucks i i miss you i know? miss not having yeah. to pay taxes i remember well if, so, in my so in do, my young wait. adult life there was <laughs> there was a year where i i absolutely panicked because it was it was like april 15th or whatever and i was seeing like all the headlines and you know just the stuff online like oh it's tax day don't worry. and i was like wait Am I supposed to do taxes? Was I supposed to do that? I really uh-huh. want to ask a billionaire at some point how they pay taxes. Do they use H and R Block? Do they use like, <laughs> like I have? I literally they have just do no the, idea. The, the free uh, 1040 easy. Yeah. How do you even send your? How do you send that much money? Like, let's say you owe like 
a hundred million dollars in taxes. How do you send? I mean, I'm assuming that if you're that a rich, check? you figure out. Can you that. do a check? Do you send a check is for a hundred million dollars? I think IRS, they send you a check. They send you a check? <laughs> no, oh. no. Or no, they send you a bill, maybe. They just <laughs> but how do you like, how do you pay that? Can you do it? Can you like actually do a wire transfer for like a hundred million dollars? You have to be able, it must yeah. be a possible, you have to be able to, right? Otherwise, how would anything work? I have no, I, that's the thing. I, we don't even, I don't, I can begin to fathom it. Well, so the lucky thing was that very first year when I was like, wait, was I supposed to pay tax? I like I got the software I like put in all the things and then I, got, I didn't make enough that year to pay taxes I was under the threshold for paying any tax it was like nice. $20,000 or whatever I was under that threshold I was like oh I don't have to do this I bet you I bet you that Jeffrey Epstein wrote off the flights as a business expense that they used to shuttle kids to the island I mean why wouldn't you right, right. I mean that would just well, that's I don't smart. Have my kids on my jet that I don't have and that's why Stephen Hawking was teaching physics there. It was uh, part of the the whole thing. He's running thing. a school. The kitten caboodle. Okay, so what was Stephen Hawking doing on Jeff, Jeffrey Epstein's island? I think uh, probably... He just got invited to an island? Probably collecting evidence. Working mm -hmm. on theories and math and black holes. He doesn't give me pervert vibes. He's probably writing a book. A poem. Yeah, probably writing a book of science poetry. Roses are red, violets are blue. Epstein. Caillou hentai. Caillou hentai. Caillou hentai. <laughs> Damn machine. <laughs> ah, Epstein's a devil. I tried to warn you. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's just like you know, if you have if you have like a, a vacation house, you let your friends stay there in the winter. You know what I think? I think Mr. Beast should buy Jeffrey Epstein's island. Oh, that would be so cool. Jimmy, do it. Do it. I vote. I know you're for watching this. <laughs> <laughs> he was not. He's still he waiting has, like, for ten his islands episode already. to come out. No, they like got rid of. They get rid of. Them, I think. Oh, oh, okay. I mean, that's that's a whole nightmare. I think. Yeah, owning an island like Tax it's not easy to be a billionaire. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> so I I think you could probably at least contact someone who is in charge of that island to see if it could be used as a venue, right? Uh, I remember I I I pitched um, Alcatraz of like yes. like could we do open sauce at Alcatraz? So Kevin and I were talking about this because Peter sent us a meme the other day. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> do you know Call of Duty? The island. What was the island called? Rebirth, Rebirth island. island is literally Alcatraz. Oh. Which I didn't realize until someone pointed out. And you look at it on Google Maps. Yeah, like, oh yeah. My God, it's like it's the exact you, same. You map. overlay it on the Call of Duty map. It's like exactly the same. How cool would it be <laughs> to have? <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein's Island as a Call of Duty map. <laughs> like, I actually think that would be awesome. Instead of terrorists win. Honestly, can we that's actually that's look up right? on Google yeah. Images what it looks like? I have like never it. actually looked at what this island looks like. Is it nice? It's really nice. Yeah. Is it really nice? It's I like got it, this I, nice blue water yeah. around it. It's got like cliffs on the side. I flew over it in a flight simulator. <laughs> Just wait. Just in a simulator. Just in a simulator. Just in a simulator. It's got like flight. a reef, man. Dude, it's the like, risky reefs. Oh, oh it's so, okay. it's so nice. Oh, it's a luxury reefs? resort now. Dude. Oh, oh the, wait, that's so cool. The lavish lagoon. I want to uh, go to Epstein's Island. That looks uh, nice. The, uh, uh, frisky Forest. I'm trying to think. Like, oh, I bet you, there's there's probably such good snorkeling there. Kinder Castle. Oh. <laughs> Wait. No, uh, Island Boys. Wait, the Island no. Boys deny they've ever met Jeffrey Epstein. I feel like that's just for <gasps> clout. You could de deny that could it. Be any just, two, what? Those, that, those two I would like to anybody. formally say God. I also deny any involvement with Jeffrey. That's Epstein. definitely yeah. not me I, and my little brother. I've never been to or invited to <laughs> for the Jeffrey record. Epstein's Island. No, I should check my inbox. Stephen though. Hawking. Yeah, I bet you have missed an email. Yeah, from one of my middle school email accounts. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a cheesy poof at Adelphia.net. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the internet service provider email address. What was it? Cheesy poof at Adelphia.net. Adelphia. Wow. Hmm. Can, can can you look up what, the resort there? Like it's is, not a resort, right? Well, there's a resort. One of the headlines there you said know? that now it's a resort. Can we can we do a special there? Can we do an extra there? Like how much would yeah. it cost to get three three tickets to the Jeff? Oh, uh, I think. Uh, Twelve and older is. Oh, he owns islands. <laughs> We're with older. A, it's a couple S. hundred bucks. Islands with an S. Five star oh. luxury resort. Yeah, how how is it? Um, do you think you think Jeffrey Epstein's island is on Airbnb somewhere? I like the dig that it wasn't a five star resort before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
there's I feel like there's jokes and I don't even want to try and make <laughs> Island owned by Jeffrey Epstein put up for sale. They to should boost just get the victims island victims fund. Oh wait, they're gonna they give all the money to the victims. That's, I thought it also became a, did someone buy it to make it into a resort and the money went to the victims? <laughs> 125 Whoa. million dollars? Wow. Dude. Could you? Or if you were a victim, yeah. <laughs> do you think they're going to give all the money to the victims of? No way. No. It's, 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 I bet it's you it's like, the like one. Fund. Yeah. It's like, you know, when they say shit like that, it's like a half a percent. Yeah. If you were a victim, would you rather have uh, uh, money from the sale of the island or the island? Wait. So how how much how much did Elon Musk I would take pay for a, a timeshare of the island? You remember forty billion he paid. Forty billion. Yeah. I would 40. take an island <clears throat> sure. No, I wouldn't. I don't think I'd take the island. So, ten, so, d- no, so too much maintenance. Twitter was four hundred Jeffrey Epstein islands. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It has just as. Can you imagine? No, I'm not. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like being you. If you have the choice, like you can either buy Twitter or you can buy 400 Jeffrey, Jeffrey Epstein islands. islands. I would probably have bought the oh, more than 200 yeah. people. So everybody gets like you know a million bucks. They could. Uh, what's it say? Though? Are they uh, less than a dozen? Oh, but it's probably all oh, no. the people named in court that get. The yeah, settlement. these are the uh, not the victims. Oh, those these are the 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 anti victims. Oh, these are the people that. <laughs> do you if you were, like worked as like a chef or something on the island? Do you put that on your LinkedIn? I would probably have a portfolio of the stuff I cook there, and then maybe leave it. It's at just that. like a couple faces blurred. In yeah. the back of <laughs> really, a really nice meal, and there's just like a barely recognizable. There's just like a bunch of kids chained up in the background, chained up children behind a plate of Dino <laughs> Nuggets you cooked. But the Dino Nuggets are really good. <laughs> I just how many victims um, are there? Estimates range from a few dozen to over one hundred. Okay, well, so if it's over a hundred, that's still a million dollars per. Yeah, if, if they all give all, there's no way. There's because there's like a, a, is it like a class action lawsuit. Because it's already thing? not counting like the lawyers, right? Whatever the lawyers, get. you know, like uh, in a class action not. lawsuit, you actually only get like nothing. Yeah, it's yeah, like, like a, a dollar, yeah. and then the, the lawyers get like thirty million. <sighs> wow. Yeah, I that's I still terrible. think that we should go. Yeah, I would go. I feel like it's probably cursed. I, I no, don't... he's dead. Or wait, no, that's when the curse happened. We're cursed by who? Wait, cursed or haunted? Those, those are like. Is it haunted by Jeffrey Epstein? Different things. Get I off think... my trampoline! <laughs> I think he's haunting the jail cell, not the because that's how it works, right? You haunt the the, the place where you die. Don't touch my Vitamix blender. <laughs> wasn't, wasn't there also some kind of like secret documents he had in a safe that that the FBI uh, took out, and then they never said what was that's in it? That's classic Call of Duty map. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I heard that. It might have been some some like you know crazy website, but I feel like half the stuff you hear is just BS. Yeah, <laughs> like it's just. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh my god. That's... Anyway, what's what what else is on the the news? What else is happening, buddy? <laughs> Any other? Oh, the, what about the airplane that got its fuselage ripped open? That is psychotic. I am never psychotic. paying extra for the window seat no, again. That's insane. Nope. You saw that right? What? The airplane, the window, the door window got ripped out. I saw a picture, but I didn't know any of the context. There's a video. It. I found a video. I say I found a video. The internet delivered a video to me, <laughs> and uh, it was it was a lot less windy than I thought it would be inside the plane. I know. I right? thought it was going to be like, pfft, like you know, it's going 200 miles an hour or something. Do you know the most people's like, hair wasn't even frustrating like, part of that too? Is like uh, the thumping when you roll a car window down. I cannot believe they oh, didn't blow the other window out to even it out. Because yeah. you have to have at least two openings or, or you're like, going to get the thumping. Vroom, vroom, vroom. They should have ripped the other emergency they should door have. Everybody off. should have opened up their windows. <laughs> 2025 is when the resort is going to, is planned to be Let's open. go. What are they calling it? Um, I'm not sure. It's supposed to be, it says a 25 room resort, which sounds really small. Oof, that that's sounds like really small. expensive. That sounds too exclusive. Like I wouldn't want to. How many kids are in? That's a like the kind of hotel average? where you go uh, and you're expected to like mingle with the other guests and like do activities. How many and kids stuff? were in your elementary school classes? Probably about twenty. Thirty. Yeah, twenty five, thirty. Mm. I'm saying it's just something to think about. Are they building, or is that just how many rooms happen to be there already? What does Tucker Carlson say? Just think about it. Yeah, think about it. <laughs> <laughs> think about it. <laughs> All right, so we're not we're not going to Epstein's Island until next year at the. Earliest. Is it Airbnb or? I hope so. Expedia. <laughs> I hope so. Either of those. So wait, what about this airplane where the window opened? <laughs> so the, the brand new 740. No, it's a brand new Boeing. Right? 7, is it the, 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 the Supermax? Super yeah, yeah oh, the bad one. The same one? Are they, is it, they all have these problems? I think that the 737 in particular is like the bad one. I'm not one, an right? airplane nerd. 
uh <laughs> the window so it was like it was an emergency exit it's like some of the modular doors oh it was a window. and what it just popped open it like ripped out of the side of the plane 20 minutes into the flight oh yeah. alaska that's and too bad apparently it was oh. a uh it wasn't an actual emergency exit it was like the space was there so it could be an emergency exit but it's like you know, Boeing, they cut all these holes into the yeah, plane. And it was, if, depending oh, on the configuration, they don't need it to be an emergency exit. So they well, just turn it into became an emergency window. exit. You know, when your, your car has <laughs> yeah. like the button panels that get filled in with a button that doesn't work. Yeah, yeah. So like on the inside of the plane, it looks like a normal window. Yeah, because it was, but it was like a, it was like a custom panel. Wow, for yeah. that's and they, I guess awesome. they didn't screw it in all the way because it something bad. Where Dude, did the door land? I don't know. I don't even know. Probably on some poor bastard. Some po- poor polar bear? Some billionaire's island. Honestly, I would be I would just want the flight to keep going and land like like at the de- yeah. like even if it was like a, a six hour flight across the country <laughs> and it the like pilot popped comes open on the radio right at the beginning. I would be like <laughs> all I'm- in favor of yeah. we're making it to our <laughs> destination. <laughs> Say I like, we're, we're like more than halfway there. Because like-, like if you've got to like turn around or make an emergency landing and get on a new flight and like that's so much hassle. I would rather sit on the plane with the exploded door okay. for the yeah. next you're, four hours. You're on a flight. I feel like Tw- if something bad happened, it would have happened. 20 minutes yeah, into your flight. Exactly. <laughs> the door the door blows off the yeah. plane. You land. Finish it. Finish and the flight. Like, no, would you like? Going. No, 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 no. I'm just saying. <laughs> you land and they're like, would you like to get on another plane? <laughs> <laughs> no, I want the same one. Yeah, I want to get back one. on the same airplane. <laughs> I want to just not pay for another ticket, please. Mark Rober's calling me. Oh, right now? Hi, Jeez. Mark. Yo. Does Mark want a mic? Does um, he want it? Oh, we have a mic. I don't know if this mic does anything, but there's a mic on the ground here. This mic is recording? All right. This is now Mark Rober's mic. Mike, we're doing a po- Mark, we're doing a podcast. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm just... What are you I'm doing? In. What are you wearing? We what are you wearing? Sa- safety fourth. What am I wearing? Yeah. Um, that... Sounds sexual. Mark, if, <laughs> if you were, have you ever been invited to Jeffrey Epstein's island? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm glad you asked. I, I was thinking. Uh, is this being recorded? No. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lie, but we can edit it out if you have been to his island. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what? Now that it's gonna cut to the whatever the next thing we're gonna say is, then people are just already gonna say I think Mar- he died before Mark was famous enough to get invited. That's true. Yeah, yeah that's a hundred percent true. That would be funny if I'm like, is this being recorded? And then it's like an audio. <laughs> <laughs> this phone call is being recorded for quality assurance. No, we we know that none of us are, are actually uh, rich or famous enough to go to Epstein's Island. <laughs> this is true. This is true. I have not is the answer. Whether it's being recorded or not. <laughs> Get back to work. All right. I love you, Mark. Love you, Mark. Bye. Say it back. Say it back. Say it back. Say it back. Uh, I really, 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 really. <laughs> no. Oh, he's driving Coward. through a tunnel. Coward. <laughs> Coward. <laughs> Hung up on him. Wow. I can't wait to see how that gets edited to make him look really bad. <laughs> I think that we started this podcast with the worst possible thing for Mark Rover to call it. <laughs> 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 oh Jesus Christ! Can we use that as a t- can we title yeah, this one? Jeff, Mark Jeffrey Rober Epstein's was not. What did we say? Jeff- Mark Mark Rober was not on Epstein's island because <laughs> no, no, no. that's not a bad thing. Jeffrey like, Epstein's we, island that's, that's featuring Mark Rober is innocent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's not only true but good if we say that Mark Rober was not on Epstein's island. Jeffrey Epstein's island feet Mark Rober. That's the name. <laughs> episode episode ninety two. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. <laughs> well, I mean, that's that's fine. We love Crunch Labs. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty yeah. Good. yeah. No, no, no. We just really, really, really like it a lot. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. bet, I bet I, I, Stephen yeah. Hawking yeah. would have really liked it too. <laughs> so we bought a bunch of new tools. Yeah. Sorry we, about your grandpa. Oh my god, dude! I <laughs> what? Oh, uh, so I I started the second channel video. I, I said my grandpa died. Oh. I got a lathe. It, I, my, my grandpas are long dead. It was someone, oh, else. Okay, okay. It was someone else's grandpa ah, who died. Ah, <laughs> I see. I just thought it'd be funny to see my grandpa died, but then I got this free lathe. <laughs> and then so many people were like, dude, my grandpa just I died know. too. I'm so like, sorry. Uh, I know how that feels. Like, uh, I'm here sorry, for you. Everyone. I just, well. there's something, you know, if you can't. If <laughs> Maybe you can't. they were all joking too. Maybe yeah, all were. the comments were also <laughs> joking. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody at really. What are the odds? 
I don't. I actually, I never really met any of my grandpas. One died before I was born. Really? Yeah, the other one lived at like the most northern part of Sweden, and I think I met him once when I was like, like really little. Mm. Um, so I never really got to experience my grandfather dying, so I had to live vicariously through uh, another friend whose grandfather actually did oh. die. <laughs> That's fun. Um, but we also found a, I found a guy on Facebook Marketplace who was selling something. Okay. And I wanted to buy it, and so Kevin and I went out there, mm -hmm. and he had just a ton of stuff. Oh yeah. Huh. He's like a retired special effects guy from Hollywood. Ooh, yeah, yeah. That's. Cool. But I think he's kind of senile. Getting there, yeah. like. Ugh. something and i'm like oh are you like selling other stuff too instead it's like this one thing that i wanted <laughs> i think it's just typical kind of like old guy hoarder mentality yeah. it's like this is all my stuff he but this is like it's but, his lifestyle yeah right he was talking about everything. i mean dude there was like there was in in a horse stable there's no horses in it there was a water heater that was built out for like like stage use so it's like like meant for propane so it was like if you need to bring hot water somewhere, like if you just need like need hot water yeah, on a you set, you need hot water like, on a set somewhere. You just bring this thing, you hook it up to propane, and it's just a water heater that just sort of works out of. Yeah, know. so it's like a tank, and you don't have to like connect. It yeah, to it's any literally just water. the water. It's yeah, like oh. got propane hookups, and like they converted huh. to propane instead of you know natural. Yeah, gas so like they that. just like you know put it on a dolly and move it around. Oh, yeah. Now imagine weird. that times like a thousand. There's just so they garbage had, like, everywhere. They had these like these giant mortars that you would pack with dirt. It's like a think of like a traffic cone upside down, uh -huh. then like an air tank on the bottom, and you'd like fill it with dirt and then set it off so it looks like there's an explosion. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, stuff yeah like going the, on. like debris coming out of it. So I like wow. I'm like oh, like. He has, he has all these great tools. He has like, you know, like blades, mills, yeah. bandsaw, like just every, it was actually kind of a weird collection of tools. Like huh. I'm like, didn't really, it was like a, like too much for a shop. So they must have just, you know, when you like have a job yeah. somewhere, you like get a job and you're like, oh, I got to buy this tool for this job mm -hmm. and the company pays for it, but then you sort of keep it. That's kind of what it felt oh, like. Okay. Because it was too much. It was like too much stuff. Did it, it like seem this. like it was like used a lot? No. Or was like, it? Not no, at all. yeah. Like yeah, almost never. like, so it felt like brand yeah. new. He had like That's all cool. the tooling and stuff too. Like anything you could want for a lathe or a mill. It's yeah. like he had it. And, uh, and so I'm like, <laughs> are you selling this stuff? You're retired. You know, he's like older. And uh, he's like, yeah, I'm selling everything. And I'm like, cool, I'm going to buy it all. And I was already spent a bunch of money. Because it's like, you know, if we do like a big thing, just buy all this guy's stuff, you probably mm -hmm. get a pretty good deal on it. Right. Because like do it all at once. And then he yeah. doesn't have to deal with trying to sell everything on individual. Yeah. So we come back like a week and a half later. And there's like, how many of them? There was like five of us or six of us. Yeah, ready to move all this stuff yeah. like onto the trailer. And then he starts, I like, he starts just saying, oh, actually, no, I'm not ready to sell it. Actually, oh, no, I'm not ready to sell it. And no. I'm like, like, He's like I should ask my son if he wants it before because his oh. son does special effects too. Oh. Rick! Oh. No oh. way! It, it broke in a completely what? different spot. <laughs> no! It's now broken in like three pieces. <laughs> <laughs> well. I don't have an armrest anymore. Okay. I mean, you we, can, we put, can another, put another screw in there. Just make the whole thing out of screws. So I had like you keep, I, you keep telling the story. I had I a family friend was in town. He had the, he had a flatbed. He was like picking something up to drive up to Northern California, and um, and so I'm like, hey, like, can you help me do this before you go back up? He's like, yeah. yeah. So we show up with a flatbed trailer, like a big uh -huh. fifth wheel trailer, a uh, a sprinter van with a lift gate, and Kevin's truck. Like ready to wow. just to actually Everything. buy like a machine, just clear it out, yeah, clear it out. Wow! And he just says like no to everything, <laughs> and I felt like you know what it felt like. It felt like like him selling his stuff was like selling. It was like stripping of him of his identity. Right. He didn't. He didn't realize he yeah. was not ready to act. He wasn't do ready, that. but he's also like seventy five. Yeah, he or wanted something. to like give it to his son instead, yeah. in hopes that his son like carries on his. Oh you know, God! His work. It was so bad. That's. So. Yeah, well, did you so did you force him to sell it? Uh, I got there was a couple of things I got really mad at him because I was he was like trying to like I like itemize everything. I'm like, uh -huh. well, how much is this worth? How much is that worth? And it was like, dude, I'm just trying to buy it all for yeah. you for a price, and I'm not checking everything. I'm just gonna buy it. And then it's like I would go on Facebook Marketplace and I would find something that sold, yeah. and I'm like, show, like, this, like is, this is oh, this is what a horizontal bandsaw right. is selling for. It says sold, and he's like, well, I don't know. I don't know. He's like, wow, that's that's pretty low. And then I, I had a list. I kept reading the list off to him like one at a time. And then he's like, we came up with a price. And then we like start putting stuff. He's like, well, I didn't I didn't agree to that one. And I was just like, dude. It's like he forgot. He like he wasn't yeah. writing it down himself. Yeah. You were writing it down or something. Yeah, I had a list and I was just like, you know, I guess yeah. I read it to him like five times and I I was I was like ready to what did you end up actually getting out of that um a finger break so it's like a sheet metal bender 
oh, that you okay. can you can remove the fingers from it so you can like only bend. Oh, in the same okay, okay. Uh, that's actually something I've been wanting for a really yeah, long like time. Yeah, like if you try to make a box, you can't do it with one big yeah. long one because you couldn't get like the right. Yeah, yeah. The other things would like yeah. yeah. It's like the worst yeah. kind of brackets for three D printing. If you want something mm -hmm. like if laser cutting or three D printing, like if you want to make like a Z shaped thing, you just like can't do it. Right. Um. So it's like perfect for like sheet metaling. Yeah. Little, it's like brackets. Uh, a standing drill press, which I didn't really need, but it, that's still know, cool. Still cool. Yeah. Uh, a sheet metal shear, it's like a foot powered one that's like like four feet wide. So you press down on it, and like the blade comes down and can shear like up to eighth inch. It's surprisingly eighth like, inch. Yeah, strong. it's strong. Yeah. Don't yeah, I wouldn't have thought so either. You'll cut your fingers off. Um, a sheet metal roller. The roll, a sheet metal roller, a tube bender. That's like a hydraulic tube bender with like a power pack, like the pump for oh, it. Oh yeah, too. electric pump. Big oxyacetylene setup, so like like a massive, two Huge, massive tanks. Scary big. That thing. sounds scary. I've yeah. I've never <laughs> tried anything with oxyacetylene because I've just always have been you tried blowing up a gopher it. hole. Yeah, no. <laughs> gopher <laughs> gopher burrow network. No, <laughs> I've never used that tool. I don't know what a gopher hole is. <laughs> there's some there's some invasive species that they say you can kill them however you want. <laughs> it literally says like. Like any, anyway, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a poisons. This poisons is the only one that's kind of like, oh, yeah, I think you're allowed to do it as long as it's just bad practice. Bad, um, other animals, Arbor Press, can. yeah, Cold Saw, Cold Saw. I'm excited that's about cool. that one. That's for like that's cutting cool. metal but without sparks, yeah, th like it's got like cutting fluid and like cutting the, fluid and it moves uh, like really slow, yeah, oh, that's okay. nice. It's like, wow, you know, it spins at like maybe I don't know, 60 RPM. That's really cool, yeah, sounds 60 times second. That sounds right, Cold Saw. 500 RPM? 500. 500 RPM? It has a fast, no. a, a high speed and a slower slow speed. speed. Yeah. They cut really slow. Um, His was uh, boogieing. I am. <laughs> what else? I think that's kind of it. Arbor Press. Is... That's, that's still uh, you, a you pretty also, good haul. two finger brakes. Yeah, two finger brakes. Um, but I wanted I wanted the lathe because we like don't have a lathe uh, except for the crappy lathe that I got from. Yeah, and that was a nice my friends. lathe. Yeah. So that was nice. a, that was an awesome way. And so now we just I'm still trying to put it back together. It's just like kind of dumpy little old. Also, it's like one. you go on Facebook Marketplace right now. You can find like, you know, dozens of lathes for like two thousand bucks, <sighs> yeah. you know, and you're like, no one's going to buy yeah. this lathe from you for like four, yeah. five. He wanted like five thousand bucks for it. And yeah. And it was he didn't want to include the tooling with that either. Right. Oh, insane. So you buy a lathe and those guys just got a like, pile of you can't sell tools on Facebook market. No one's going to buy your tool. Was he going to keep it? You have to sell it as I a lot. I don't know. <laughs> He wanted. Uh, he wants to be know. buried with the tooling so that he can lathe in the afterlife. <laughs> but like, there's like this, there's like this thing where if you buy something, you also have you have this like expectation of like them kind of just giving it to you, making it easy. Hmm. The guy, like, once it was just okay, let's do it. He just like doesn't do anything, and we're like, we have to like drag all this stuff out. There was no lifting equipment. He had no. Like, yeah, yeah. He had a little tiny tractor with no forks <laughs> on it or anything. Oh, right. Okay, so you got this. The table you got this old like workbench yeah. table it had some like filing cabinet drawers right. in it and it was you know the drawers were full of crap like mm -hmm. i'm like the crustiest solder, solder i've ever seen in my life <laughs> it was full of just like trash and junk yeah and he was going through the drawers like taking out everything yeah. and just like dumping it on yeah. the floor and like putting it back in the garage like, like imagine selling a desk to somebody and then like emptying out everything like, from the, the drawers like garbage you know? it's like dude just like those are my safety yeah He's yeah. like putting it on the floor. He's like, like making a clips. mess. It's already like a mess. <laughs> and he's like taking trash out and like, like, dude, uh, just like. <laughs> I told him, I'm like, where do you want the pile of crap? <laughs> it's like, he oh should have thrown God. everything away on that desk and in that desk. It was so bad. Like it, was, it actually genuinely felt like it was like a like a child, and you were like taking away all their favorite things. Yeah. Wow. Because it's like he's he's like moving right, so it's like he's gonna have yeah. to still go through all of that and like throw it all away. Dude, when I sell stuff, I like give it to him. It's like, I make know, this I'm like, go away. Exactly. Like, get this out of my hair. Like, the only reason yeah. I don't like to do it for free is because that attracts the worst kinds of people <laughs> yeah. on Facebook Marketplace. Like, yeah. Yeah. I, I think I've seen tips of like, if you're trying to do that sort of a thing, what you can do is like, you can put it up for like a reasonable price. And then when someone comes in with like a He's serious free. offer, yeah. he said, say, like, okay, yeah. great. Actually, you can just have it. Yeah. Like, yeah, I just want to, no, exactly. you just want to make, the, there's like a great filter yeah. where even like after a dollar, like $10, yeah. Like $1. Yeah. yeah. It's like, you want to find some that's interested in it yeah. too and that they're not going to just resell yeah. it i mean that helps me feel better about no it. but even yeah. then it's like i don't care just get it off yeah. my lawn <laughs> yeah like we uh like chelsea like has some bad reviews on facebook marketplace for listing free stuff because people would just leave a bad uh, review and say like oh like not communicative yeah. not this not that oh, wow. um and 
like one time I, I, we had these giant, these like almost like ballet mirrors, like, like gym mirrors. They're like six feet tall. I had like mm-hmm. six of them. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what am I doing with these? Like they were just right. left here. And it's so like, so much I can look at myself. Right. right? Exactly. Like I don't <laughs> even like, I don't want to. And so I put them on Facebook marketplace. I like put them on this palette. I bought some windows and I like, you know, after done with windows, I put them on, I put the mirrors on that mm-hmm. window palette. Um, and I put them on for 10 bucks or something. And this guy comes. And he's like, I only need two. And I was like, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then I broke his taillight on accident with the tractor. <laughs> Ooh. Oops. And I was like, sorry. Wow. <laughs> Here's the free mirrors. <laughs> but it would have probably been like a thousand plus dollars worth of mirrors. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Like, I don't care. Just, kind of, yeah. Ta- for a tail well, light. Was it a nice tail light? No, it was like a $50 aftermarket tail oh, okay. light. I, I well, yeah, was it, an, is it a nice car? No, it was not. It was an old okay. truck. Yeah. <laughs> they, he probably would have taken that same deal if it was upfront like that of like, hey, like, do you want these mirrors if I get to break your tail yeah, light? Yeah. He probably still would have done it. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Like, all right, that's that's kind of weird, but all right, yeah. <laughs> you can have this old, out. this yeah. old Bridgeport mill if I get to destroy your truck suspension <laughs> yeah. system like that. And I'm like, yeah, all right. <laughs> it made me think a lot about just things and like owning things and like, do you really need things though? Like, no, no, you, I, you really don't need anything. Uh, I, I I recently moved and I've like just now sort of like gotten to a place where like things are starting to go out of boxes where they should be. Yeah. And I keep looking at things that I've had for like like half a decade yeah. and have never used and like have like realistically no intention of ever using. And I'm like, no, but like, I need this. Like what, ju- what if, like yeah. what uh-huh. if and I put it back on the shelf? But you know the like, rule, right? You throw it away and then you need it the next day. Yeah, yeah. yeah but that's also, exactly. how, how much of a loser are you going to feel like when you see this project that's been sitting on the shelf for like 70 years and you're like 90 <laughs> and you're like, oh, shit. <laughs> I can't give away. I can't sell any of my tools yet because I still need to weld that. Yeah. <laughs> he had, there was this like big air compressor, like a big kind of horizontal tank compressor, uh-huh. you know, like like bigger than like a Home Depot one. It was probably yeah, like 100 gallons. 150 or something. Wow. Yeah. And it had like a nice little rack on top of it of the all the different like air fittings. Oh, the working one you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, the no, one there was the, okay. there was a working yeah. one there and a non-working one. Right, yeah. like it's like oh cool, you need to fill you know a tire. You got the Schrader valve. It's a yeah, yeah. Function. It's like you know you always lose yeah. them if they're not. It's like, like the short one, the long one, the one that comes out backwards. The uh-huh. one, all the different. Yeah, and so we're like trying to lift this sheet metal shear that's got to weigh like a thousand pounds. Yeah, like we can't. So move. heavy. Can't There's even two s- skateboard wheels screwed to it with like like three eighth inch bolts. <laughs> oh my! And they're God. like they're cambered. Uh-huh. They're cambered because they're completely bent, squatted, like the thingless. totally <laughs> squatted. And so I like lifted up with a dolly and kind of just barely like the skateboard wheels are like God. just hanging on to your life. <laughs> and we like get it to this kind of spot because it's like the whole property is sloped. Oh God! And we're like, all right, we're gonna. What if we chain it to the tractor? Because like, there's literally no way we're getting this thing out of there. No, no way. No. It, like it has to, we need something to lift it and roll it down. And so he like he goes to start his tractor. And, like clearly hadn't been started in like months. Like it's like a really rough start. It's like the smallest tractor too. It's like the, the size smallest, of a ride on mower. It's a, like know? a lawn tractor with a bucket on it. Like it really is yeah. the smallest tractor you can buy. And he like drives up to the like the shit, like kind of up the little crappy dirt hill. And the the tire is flat. And he's like, oh, I gotta fill the tire. And so he disappears, and it took him like thirty minutes. Yeah, like actually, like to, maybe to find 20. a little tire valve. Yeah, he oh, comes. No. He comes back with like a propane tank that had been like turned into like a portable. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. that's cool. I think I that's mean, cool. <laughs> and and he's like, he was like, but looking. there was also like a full on pancake like right. air compressor, yeah. just like <laughs> right there. No, the and, propane one is cooler. <laughs> and he's looking for he's looking for a tire valve, and I'm I'm sitting there I'm like. This guy has literally everything. Yeah. And you he know where it is. I know I where know, it is. I know where and it is. And he doesn't know where anything is. Yeah. He has everything, but he has nothing. And then he's like, oh, oh sorry, I was looking for the tire valve. And, and it was just like, it made me like, like, just like very kind of some good things like to set in stone in your head about like, just get rid of stuff. Get rid of your like, 70. If you can't like access the thing, like if there's so much crap in front of the thing and you can't get to it, you clearly don't need any of it. Hey Kevin, you want a, a Variac? I've got a, yes, okay, I do. I'll give I you a, like give those you a, those red ones. Uh, it's 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 small. It's not red, but it looks to be like in one piece. It Does it have works. like the uh, the outlets built into it already? No, no. Okay, well I'll still you still want it? I'll, yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's my one. <laughs> so the, the like, that that was one of the things where I was like I was looking at it for like minutes. I will give it a good home. I'll. I, I was will, like, do I'll I really? It. I like looked up how much it would cost to buy a new one off of eBay. 
And it's like it's worth probably like a couple oh, yeah. hundred bucks. I actually gave mine away when I moved. Oh, okay. And you yeah. regret it? Did you regret it? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm you like, can I'm have just my buy Kevin. a nice one. Why am I? Why am I dealing with these crappy old variants? <laughs> I can buy like new ones on Amazon with like a, a dial on them that says how many volts are actually coming out. What? I like wrote like about how many volts are are like where one that has a fan dial. to exhaust all the smoke out. Uh-huh. Of it. <laughs> one when, with, like working carbon contacts. When's your birthday, Kevin? Uh, like. Six days. Six days? Yeah. Yes! Perfect. Dude, All right. Great. I got a gift for you, Kevin. <laughs> Is it a God's, Godzilla birthday party? Godzilla birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Optimus Prime. No, that's me. That oh, I, want, well, I wanted the Godzilla. Optimus Prime Godzilla. birthday party. All right. I'll try and make you a Godzilla box with a very <laughs> iconic yeah. So long story short, this old man's selling his tools. <laughs> Clearly, he was supposed to be getting rid of stuff because he's like old. He's retired. Right. God, you think it was even like someone else, like who told him yes. he had to get rid of something? So his is. daughter oh. was the one who listed the thing on Facebook Marketplace. Oh, of course. So I messaged oh, her no. and I said, "Hey, your dad. Fuck. When I first, you know, he said he wanted to sell a bunch of tools, but then when I came back, he said he changed his mind and still needed them. So if that ever changes, let me know. Are you? Uh, it was on Facebook. Yeah. You should uh, friend that woman and wait for that guy to die. That, that's, that, that's what I said. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. And the worst part is when I said that because that's you know that's kind of what I was implying is like uh, if that ever changes, let me know. Like if you ever need to. Sell this stuff God. or whatever, reason. and she's like, "I'll, uh, she's like, I'll keep you in mind." And I was uh, like, "That is, <laughs> she's thinking the exact same uh-huh. thing." I'm like, oh no! And this guy, he had so much stuff, and we were walking around the property, and he's like, oh, "I don't know what my daughter's gonna do with that. I don't know. I don't know what my daughter's Honestly, gonna do about that's, that." You're doing God's work. Honestly, that yeah. uh, to to like have at least like that load off. off, off that's her. that. I mean, I'm yeah. kind of joking, but I'm kind of not. That's actual peace of mind for whenever that guy yeah. dies. Yes. It's one less thing that that woman is gonna have yeah. to like worry he, about. Is that yeah. if you are like gonna buy all his shit. That's, that's I was I nice. was ready that's to basically nice. spend fifteen thousand dollars and buy like a ton of stuff. Like it was, it's a full machine shop. Yeah, and I it's should like, not spend that. And it's still, it's not like it's nice, nice yeah. stuff either. You know, it's it's all used, but it's in good condition. And it was like the once in a lifetime opportunity. Basically, you know, like it's a pain in the ass to move mm-hmm. it because of the way that it's all stored. Yeah, it's it's like you know, kind of out of the way of everything else. Like it's middle of nowhere, and it was just like. Great. Like, let's make a deal. I'll buy the stuff that, like, eventually I'm going to, you know, want, like, a lot of this stuff. Mm-hmm. And and I'll make, I'll take it off your hands. And it was mm-hmm. just like, no. Like, you know, if you're a kid and you're, you know, you someone in your family or, you know, uncle, grandparent dies and you, like, they do an estate sale. It's like, all right, let's just get what we can for this without doing any work. Yeah. So, like, it might be worth, like, a $1,000. But if you come in there and say, hey, guys, I'll give you 200 bucks for all this stuff and it's just not your problem anymore. And they're like, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> like that's what's going to happen. What if what if you uh, like give not that even, guy there wasn't even any like cool trinkets? No, in there, you know, like nothing, it's just regular. Ass no, tools. no artifacts. No, no, no gizmos. What nothing. if you send that guy some like like free like like skydiving lessons <laughs> and like like parasailing that's and motocross? Like, and, like, what if you just like try and like give him. A bunch of really like, cool things to be into. Dude, just that happened to, to something be else risky. on the tractor. <laughs> what if you just like get him really into like base jumping? At, I mean, if he's seventy, is he gonna care if he gets to like jump off a cliff and fly and be really cool? And maybe he happens to die. I think he would love that. <laughs> Does that that can't count as murder, right? If you give someone. A gift certificate right. to like to their skydive. Murder. Yeah, and they die. And and then they die, and then you no, have to buy an, their tools an, after an, an, they die. I'm just gonna Wait. buy them an Alaska Airlines gift card. So why are you why are you <laughs> giving only me this? window seats? <laughs> Alan, why are you giving me this variac? Because <laughs> I don't want anyone to try and murder me through gifts to extreme sports. <laughs> so I'm just giving it away. <laughs> Hey, you got any other crap you don't want? Uh, I could probably think of a yeah. I'm I'm going through the stuff right now, and honestly, like I I I think I got rid of a lot of stuff like during the move itself. Yeah, I think I left behind a lot of stuff, um, just because I was like, you know, I was like, do I really want to take? Did this? you abandon your ceiling twelve volt power supply? Yeah, oh, that's still there. Yeah, yeah. your your LED 
I did I did remove, but only, I forgot. I did a walkthrough with the landlord, and I forgot to remove it. And so then <laughs> he was like looking at. It. I was like, oh, sorry, that's just I. Uh, you know, my friend put that up there, but it works. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Isn't that cool? It was like it was, live power. Yeah, it was. It was, it was like a weird defunct track lighting system. So it yeah. was like exposed I don't think it was legs. I think it was Maybe it just badly wasn't installed. It might just have the been, metal legs yeah. were literally punched through the drywall. Yeah, yeah. Sticking it was like, out imagine two like metal uh, like chopsticks just poking yeah. through the drywall. Twelve volts AC. So Kevin demonstrated that by wiring up an LED and a I resistor remember I stuck to it. My yeah. screwdriver on it and it got, and it got really hot. hot. This is free electric heating wow. too. Like actually so that's good. a fire hazard. <laughs> Giga fire hazard. So that he uh, he um, asked where the light went that was up there, and I honestly just didn't know because it got packed. And I was like, "Oh, just oh, just- you put you put lights like." On the the no, no, no. so like the actual bulb that was supposed to go there, yeah. It turns out that's like th- that doesn't exist anymore. It it should have probably never existed in the first. There's place. There's a couple of them missing. So <sighs> well, he he ended up charging me fifty dollars. No, yeah. Wait, did he give you a chance to fix it? Or no. Well, no. It, the whole thing was just kind of. Did screwed. you pay it? Oh, well, yes, I paid it Wait, because did also you get I, all your security deposit back. I'm missing. I'm missing. Oh, it's three hundred dollars, fifty for bucks for the light, and then half of it for cleaning costs because I didn't, I didn't clean the place. Yeah. Just like, I mean, at the end, I was kind of like, eh, eh. That's I'll how they it. get you. you know? I was, yeah, I, that's how they get you. But also, I was like, fuck. I mean, you know, fifty bucks plus two fifty. I mean, I was like, I hate landlords. Yeah. I hate. I hate them. I hate them. So do I. They're such. Hey. <laughs> on the plus side, I did I I did take some time to look on uh, eBay to see if I could find those old yeah. lights, and they're nowhere. So ha, he they're got my fifty bucks. bucks, but he'll always have an empty light socket <laughs> and a there. fire hazard. Yeah, it'll forever not have a light. You could have you made one out of a piece of nichrome wire. No, fuck that. <laughs> I'm not even giving you him know, that. You could have just like hung up any like vehicle headlight, just like stuck it up there. <laughs> And be like, this is like flickering at 60 uh-huh. hertz. It's oh, like yeah, because it's high AC, beam. not DC. Oh, yeah. Well, you yeah. can turn on the high beams <laughs> <laughs> if you want more light, you know? So, yeah, I'm glad that from now on in that corner, there's just two metal sticks poking out leading to nothing. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad. That was worth $50 <laughs> for me. Uh, you're it's like never buying. You're never finding new ones of those things. <laughs> it's like a, a, the curse of Alan Pan. <laughs> Watch them install, like, like remember the LED and then install just a new bare LED and a resistor. Uh-huh. <laughs> so. Now it's time for, I guess, a Q&A for Patreon. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. If you guys uh, are subscribed to our Patreon, we've got lots of good things up there. There's names, too, right? That and are there's, happening. There's names. There are. Right now? Yeah. Hey, first names of the new year. Look, I um I'm I'm gonna uh grab this name and I'm just gonna keep it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put it in my pocket and in the next episode I'm gonna pull it out and we'll see if it's the same name. I don't even know if that's gonna happen at all. I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> right, there's nothing on the screen right now. There's a there's a seven, the new editor. There's an Alaska oh, Airlines no. 737 plane flying by and one of the names just fell out of the plane. None of this is happening. <laughs> the, the, we don't have the budget the, for these the anymore. Names have I already, guess. They're all all gone. They're- <laughs> <laughs> all right if you guys want extra content you can head over to our patreon uh help us pay the bills uh we all uh, we're going to new zealand oh that's right so yeah. if, if any of you are in new zealand and have any advice for us on what to do or where to go or if you got any you know yeah, local, where the most yeah. beautiful sheep are yeah most beautiful the most beautiful and <laughs> handsome sheep we're gonna sh- shear them we're gonna shear them yeah <laughs> we're gonna do a video of the trolley problem but with sheep <laughs> You always aim for the larger group. <laughs> right, because then you get more meat. Yeah, more exactly, cheap. exactly. <laughs> it's gamey, but you braise it. See you guys on Patreon. <laughs>